Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in October. It's fall. What better thing could there be? We are at the Montesano Lancha side off Montesano Boulevard at the Hikers parking lot. And we are starting on Arrowhead. And this is one of my absolute favorite trails. Are they carving out a new trail there? It's one of my favorites. Not sure if it's the favorite, but one of the favorites. It is an awesome backcountry trail. Takes you down into the goalie, to some pretty areas of Montesano, and it's a fun one. I try to do it at least once a year, so I guess this is my once a year ride. Been riding a whole lot more out at Montesano again. The last video you saw, I did Oak Park and uh, K Hollow and tried to do Bankhead back, but blew a tire, unfortunately. And I did another ride. Oh, I just couldn't quite make that. I did another ride as well, but I totally forgot my SD card to record. But I still did it. And we did trails like uh, Warpath Ridge, Bluff Line. So, today is Arrowhead, and we'll see if we throw anything else in. But at the start, we'll just do a little bit of pedaling through the rocks. Alright, let's see if we can make this chunky little. Oh man, that was close. Ooh, this is a tough little spot. Ah, oh, I pedaled strike the crap out of the rock. Some really cool rock ah, formations up here. Here soon we'll go through some of them. Right now I'm kind of just skirting along it. Ah! That front tire got stuck. This trail's so pretty right through here. Some more rock. Oh yeah, we're about to go through the uh, the gap between the boulders. In a minute, I probably want to get a little low gear. I'm gonna come over to this. Ah, oh, dang it! Get reset and we'll. Start it from here. In between the rocks. Oh, that's so stinking near. Alright, here comes the, the beginnings of the descent. I get through some of this still. Woo! It's a lot tighter than I remember it being through here. Cross natural well. I forget. Okay, there it is. Arrowhead continues to the left. Best part of the whole stinking trail. Right through here, these next bits. You can have so much fun out here. Ooh, things are getting crazy. Swimming through the trails. 
<laughs> that was close. Narrow tree line. Oh yeah. There's some funny stuff out there. Uphill coming, if I remember correctly. Looking like fall down here. Man. What is the line? Ooh. Gotta get my foot feeding shirt up again. I know I have to address in this sport because there used to be a time I used to not be able to do that section. Maybe a couple of the sections. Maybe done. It's all about modulation. Do that, baby. Pretty trail. Oh. I have to break out the gloves in a minute. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make that gap. I don't know if getting the cranks around the rock is possible on that. No, it's not. Ooh. That was dangerous. Ah. Just can't get myself back recomposed. Here we go. There's no good way to go down that. If that tree wasn't down there, you could roll it. All right, still descending just a touch. I think we're always generally gonna be descending going this way. It's not like a quick descent, but nonetheless, it's downhill. Ah, man, thorns. Woo! That tore the mess out of my hand. I tell you what, this area through here is so pretty. <laughs> Low level. Not at the bottom, but you're kind of up against in between the bottom and the top. Paddling along, going over whatever Mother Nature chooses to throw at you. If you can. Oh, I can. Yes. Ooh. I forgot about some of these cool little rocky spots down here. There's some pretty ones. Notch that little spot there. Whew. Nasty spider web. There are plenty of spider webs out there. Still rolling along. There's all kinds of little rocks and things to go around and up and over. Pretty stinking fun. And it feels amazing outside. 
This is like perfect weather. Whoa, big old armadillo. It came out of nowhere, man. Weaving through. Been over. Another tricky little creek crossing. Oh, it's a trail. It's been the smallest there. Oh yeah, that's a big tree blocking it. However, there's a way around. Woo. Wash it out. Oh, I always forget how long this portion of the trail is and how technical it is, too. So it's been a little bit more cutting than over some stuff. Fun, though. Oh, a couple more months. This will be a really pretty spot. I see out of the cove. However, the trails will be crazy because they'll be covered in leaves. I already have a good amount. We're not even to mid-October. Leaf change happened earlier this year. It's been cooler. This part is so fun. I remember this. You just weave. And it's not like crazy descent, but it just weaves around. It's so pretty. Nice bridge work. That was fun. Tight single track through here. All right, now we are off Arrowhead and on McKay Hollow on the bottom portion. And whatever you do, never go left. For one, the signage will tell you not to because it's not the biker path. But even if you want to try to hike a bike out of here that way, it is harder. It is a climb. This way is a little bit better. So this is probably my least favorite part about having to come down here on Arrowhead. It's the part that will make me question if I really want to do this ride. It's the climb out. We've got 600 feet of hike a bike coming soon. Alright, we've made the hike up McKay Hollow to the intersection of Rocky Nightmare. And now we're going to run this trail in a second. It's time to break out the gloves. Hands are getting slippery. Alright, now that we have gloves on, back to the ride. I love the rock work on this trail. The use of it is pretty cool, especially further in. There's some fun little spots on this trail. It's become one that I like to do, we don't get to do often. Here we go, see, look at this. This is awesome rock work here. And then, right. Go through this junction. Some more. I missed one of the coolest moments because I just got so in the zone I forgot the GoPro was in the way. There's some cool rock parts right here if I remember correctly. Come up. Yeah. And roll it down to the right. Carried more speed. We can run through here faster. Ah, ah, I was hoping to. I wasn't going fast enough. I should have pedal hard and gone up and gone over. Cool rock 
jump there. hiked a bike up Warpath Ridge. I thought about riding up Goat into Mountain Mist, but I was cutting some ends there. So I hiked my way up. It's a little shorter. A lot steeper. And now we are on Family Bike Trail heading back towards the park office, the part of the state park. Probably get on Fire Tower. But, man, I was just noticing colors up here are just are popping man it's leaf changing season get out and enjoy it now and these are some good trails to do it on all right we took a break at the state park office got us a snack gatorade then we traversed on fire tower to north plateau and now we are on cold springs going down cold springs this one not too long ago back when I blew my tires this is the first time maybe not maybe the second I don't know this section I can't get care of through I enjoyed that speed boy quick on that trail. Looks like they've been building some new lines on that. Well, I just never noticed. There's a little bit of flow at times. Just 
kind of up and down. Of course, we're on Montesinos. Plenty of rocks. They've redone quite a bit of this trail across the years and restored it. There's three different paths for it. And it's nice. Ooh. Sneaky rocks. Oh, if you want to blow tire out right there. Or that. Coming up on the view, probably won't be a good view on GoPro, but I can see downtown out that way. I'm like parallel with the rocket right now. The buildings are right there. See out west. Powdery and cakey through here. of a rework here I've done this part before I've done all of it now but it's probably one of my videos right. there's the big old bridge they built and across oh. just taking it nice and easy no reason to fly on this. Just enjoy some of the flow when it shows up out there. Cruise when it's a bit more uphill. Man, this is such a cool bridge. It's massive. Imagine it took a lot of work to get all that material out here. There's some awesome people who maintain these trails. Appreciate all they do. Uh, up against the rock wall on high trail. Getting close to being back, I think. It's been more uphill than anything else, but that's to be expected. A good rock work right here. There's a lot of it on this trail. This trail is beautiful. It's pretty like a bluff line trail. Down there in its lower portions. Reminds me of that. I just get the camera rolling through here. This is amazing. I think in the future, what I'll do is I'll come from, do this trail from the other way, the way opposite that we're doing right now. Start up from the Hikers parking lot. That way we can descend and then roll in and hit bluff line and go down. No. We can still climb up from the parking lot on Bankhead, but then climb up the decommission road, make our way over on some cave road, and then come down all this. All right, we just cross the road across the bridge and. Here in a short second, we'll be putting this bike back on the rack. 